Day five of the search for Isabella Kalua, and the Kalua family broke their silence, claiming they've received death threats and are fully cooperating with authorities. Police confirmed they're continuing to search Bellows, where items of interest were found yesterday, and they say that more people are coming forward. Jen Boniza has the latest. Police say it could take up to a week to determine whether items found late Thursday at Bellows and Waimanalo are linked to the disappearance of six-year-old Isabella. And the Kaluas, the family that adopted her, want to set the record straight. They say they have and will continue to cooperate with police to help bring her home. The search for six-year-old Isabella Kalua is now into its fifth day. Family friend and legal advisor William Harrison says they want to set the record straight. My clients have been absolutely cooperative. As I put in my statement, they allowed the police to come through their house and spend a day in their home. They've given up all the electronic equipment. They've made multiple statements to the police department as to um, anything they've asked them about. After a police statement yesterday that said some family and acquaintances had not come forward to be interviewed by police, Lieutenant Dina Tamis confirms the family is working with police. Their family attorney has reached out and has made some arrangements so some of the family can come and meet with us to um, give us a statement. The investigation and search continues with resources focusing on a canal area in Bellows where a garbage bag with items of interest were found late Thursday. It is too premature to say whether the items are related to this investigation. Currently the Honolulu Fire Department search team is assisting us in searching the canal for any other possible items or pieces of evidence that we believe may be related. Tamis also confirmed additional items recovered during the search. A photo album was found, but we're not going to release the information as far as who's in those photos at this time. Hundreds have come out to assist in the search, but some say the Kalua family has not been out there to help. And the reason why the Kaluas personally are not down there is because they've been given death threats. We've, we've even notified the police of that uh, situation. So I've told them, do not go out and uh, identify yourselves in public. Uh, you are a target. Do not do that. So other family members, and a lot of them, have gone out and assisted in their stead and have also produced and, and given food and water to those who are out there searching. Harrison also confirms CPS took custody of three of Isabella's siblings adopted by the Kaluas. CPS is going to always take the siblings away if there is this kind of high publicity cases. That does not suggest at all that my clients have done anything wrong. That's their procedure they have to undertake in these kinds of cases. With each passing day, Isabella's biological family says it gets harder to stay positive. I don't want to say that everyone's losing hope. But at the same time, being realistic at day five, I mean, I don't know what possible outcome we could have from that. I mean, she's a little girl. You know, she, if she's out there by herself, could she have survived that five days by herself? I asked Lieutenant Tamis if they are still considering foul play. She said they can't rule anything out since there are still so many unanswered questions. From Honolulu Police Department, Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.